Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching, my name is Nick and we are playing once more Dragon Quest Builders for the Nintendo Switch. Previously we explored a little bit more of the prickly wilds, healed some patients from paralysis including Botkins and we built Nauseous Cafeteria. Which I immediately wrecked again and put the cook for her cafe back because this prevents my hunger meter from draining. But I do was enamored with the pots in front of it. I do like uh, having some decorations outside the rooms as well. Uh, I saw monsters. Please don't start breaking my base. So I started thinking of putting decorations outside as well, like having torches in with the in front of the well with the doors. Not every door has them at this moment, but eventually we will. Um, the thing is, these patients actually have not yet started healing. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. What I was trying to ta uh, tell you is uh, these patients haven't actually started he well healing like every other patient. So that's rather concerning. Apparently the slime balloons didn't help either. I thought a good laugh will do would do that, but eh, I guess not. Um, Gerontius, you have a quest for me while you're standing on top of a patient. Yeah, that concerns me as well. Okay, and where do you, would you want me to investigate? Okay, I could do something as well, but... Uh, in effect, this is actually the quest for getting your base to level 3. But, uh, Gerontius, have you ever checked uh, my level uh, base level bar already? Yeah, I know, defenses need to be... Those wooden walls aren't that great. I do need to get something better but I hope in the next episode or the episode after I would get to that to get the best walls this chapter will have to offer okay yeah well I've already reached level 4 so nothing to do here Yeah, you didn't got any time to do, look into it either, so yeah. Okay, maybe because they know about you and they are scared then about you because Elias was your apprentice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a lot of okays, but uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. But because we did get some... Uh, get, did get a new blueprint, I think I do want to place it somewhere. That I can actually have. Where would that be? Eh? Nah, that's in front of the door. I like the door over there. So I think this is gonna be placed over here. This is the haberdashery. We got this blueprint from L when we treated uh, the last patients. Well, for as far as the patients could have been treated at the time. 
So let's see, I need a bonfire, two comfy stools, a sewing station, a straw door, well two straw doors actually, Elle has something with her blue planes that they actually always have to have two doors. Maybe it has something to do with uh, a hospital kind of setup. One door you get the dirt in and the other door they leave clean. Or in other words, one door the sick and the other door the healthy. So that the sick and the healthy do not pass each other. Or come in contact then. So, yeah, I also need, I have sufficient dirt, as I can, as you can see. Items, let's put my lumber away. I still have sufficient wood, so I should be cool, I think. I think. Two comfy stools. Uh, I don't need a chest, but I do need two straw doors. Actually, no, I didn't have any straw doors. And I needed a... I'll be right back. Okay, this should be a sufficient slime to get me a bonfire. Okay, so, oh, don't forget, remember this tool? Yeah, this was the room I was actually waiting for to put it in, so, yeah. And, okay, it's also getting a little bit late, so I think I'll be finishing up the walls and then go to bed because... I'm not so eager to have goat ghosts around me. Okay, next up, let's put the fire in here. That one over there, and then those things. And finally, we have our doors, and this will make a haberdashery. Or, as it is also called, a sewing room. A sewing room contains a sewing station, two comfy stools, and a light source. This chamber is tailor-made for making fancy outfits. In other words, this is the same thing as the changing room in Cantlin. It will give our residents new clothes. Nosh will get out of his rags. So will, uh, well, Jacob and Casey. And L and Jontius actually will not change clothes, except for having a little bit more vibrant and more clean looking clothes. And as you can see, Casey and Jacob are merchants, while Nosh is just a villager. That is pretty much what this room is all about. And I have to say, it is interesting because now this room you can also still use as a way to, well, a actually a workroom. There is no chest, so residents will not be putting anything in here. But it serves multiple purposes. And that's actually really funny. Um, okay, let's see what my notes say about the next, because am I really already ready for a Defend the Town mission? Uh, 
Yes, I think I am. My notes say nothing more. So, let's go defend this town. Okay. Maybe we should do something about that then. That's what monsters do. Although some monsters actually have some uh, residents as well, so they are a lot more friendly. Of course I am. And let's see which of our new residents will actually join us in the fight, because Notch does not. Gerontius and L, on the other hand, do. Am I best equipped at this moment? Well, I have enough throwing stones. But, yeah, it's, this will have to do. The axe is, the stone axe is pretty much your best weapon at this moment. The Hades Condor again, eh? Yeah, we, you know, maybe a, a catapult or a ballista would work well. Something to that ilk. Okay, just like the rest. Like previous, we have a battle again, and if we turn around, we see that the Hades Condor once more escorts our the minions towards here. This time I have a wall, so they are not coming in, and I wish I had a... I had something... Ow! You know what? I wish I had this uh, immunity to paralysis. Well, if the scare rules will arrive, I have at least an immunity to confusion. Ouch, ouch. Okay, a little bit about the Hades Condor. That one is actually rather interesting. Oh, more? Of these guys, get away, get away. Oh, at least I have uh, the Hades Condor is not a enemy from Dragon Quest 1. <laughs> no confusion. Instead, it is an enemy that was first introduced in Dragon Quest 3. We already heard. Oh, this guy is not ominous or anything. <laughs> I was not paying attention. The Hades Condor is actually an enemy from Dragon Quest 3, first introduced there. And the Hades Condor is also not an enemy in Alephgard. Because the in Dragon Quest 3 you actually have two different overworlds. You have the main overworld where you have the first boss, where you have the first... Uh, big bad guy and then you eventually enter Elfgard at a certain point. Ooh, we have another teleportal! Yay, and everyone is happy and... Oh, Gerontius actually has a uh, mission for us next. But instead of that mission, I think... Yeah, we need to plot down the teleportal. <laughs> if people would like to go away... Nosh. Yeah. Uh, also, we heard already in episode earlier that the Hades Condor is a recent arrival to the Dragon Lord's army. I guess it kind of makes a sense. And I think the Dragon Lord either summoned or the Hades Condor 
arrived from the world above. Ooh, we make it to a teleportarium, which... Oh, we're so close to max level. And we have a boatload of enemies again. Um, which is the first... Oh yeah, we need to go to bed. Actually? Hey, my note says new residents. But I don't see any new residents. Are they lying down somewhere? No. Okay, no new residents. To greet. But we do need to go to bed. A little bit early, but hey. Again, a new memory. Um, what? Purchase. Okay, what does purchasing mean? Sixty gold coins. 180, 560. 70 gold coins. This is interesting. Because in all our rebuilding of Elefgard, we have not rebuilt a, well, anything that looks like an economy. We don't know what coins actually mean. We don't have anything for money. In the way of money. Oh yeah. <laughs> They are in the uh, for they are it is their duty to forge new armor and uh, make items for the hero to use so that the hero can uh, keep them safe. However, they do not do it for free, the hero still has to pay them. Their own well being. The fight against the Dragon Lord, their own well-being, depends on the hero defeating them. Depends on having really good equipment and armor to get through the game. And you still uh, still have to buy them from these merchants. I know, capitalism. Okay, don't go there, Nick. Don't go into politics. It's only a wasp ne uh, It's only a wet nest of uh, the properties to begin with. Yeah, they are talking about gold while we don't actually have any gold. That's so awkward and weird. Oh well. But next up we have a new teleportal and therefore a new land. And it stands to reason to get Els Quest first because we will probably have new patients as well. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Do I need to make a hazmat suit for you? Because uh, you're actually exposed to whatever they are coughing up. And you're not even wearing a face mask. 
do uh, do that. Um, I think a hazmat suit in this infirmary and a quarantine zone might be prudent. Um, okay, with animals, we have a thing that, hey, if they suffer too much, then we put them down. At least if they have a disease or an illness or get, just get too old that they are suffering, that they in, in the wild they would die anyway. We would put them down. With humans, there is a thing like euthanasia. And when death comes, death comes. But euthanasia really should be a last resort. And only when the patient requests it. I don't think these, these patients are even conscious enough to make that decision. And they aren't even hooked up to life support. So there is nothing that actually keeps them alive artificially when they should have died. Otherwise. So... No, let's look further. We have a new land. Maybe we can figure out something. Maybe I can find this Ilias. And maybe we can, well, fight the disease that Ill, uh, ills them. Killing should be a last resort. So don't give up hope. Okay? Yee. Yeah. Okay, but I do think if those new patients at all Uh, who do you want to get back uh, to? Okay, maybe euthanasia isn't that... Okay, for some... For one of them, euthanasia isn't that bad of an idea. Oh. I am going to put you somewhere differently because I don't want to mix you up with the other patients. Because that could have negative side effects. Um, seriously? Where is my wash tub? Where did it go? There's the wash tub. And I also put, need to put this back. Don't need that all, all of that, and that one is for the haberdashery. Bloop. And put this back. And then it is time. Ooh. Those windows will be fine. We'll be using them later on. But it is time. A new area. Where? And what shall we find over there? A area that's actually completely flooded. And a red Naviglobe. Oh, we find Ruby. We find Ruby. Oh yeah, also pick up one of these begonia leaves. You are going to need them later on. But we find Ruby! 
And we can make our naughty night light! <laughs> I have a gold, I have the metal slime sludge, of the silver sludge, uh, how is it called? Uh, no, no items. I have the silvery sludge. And even more rubies. And I know where the metal slimes are, so... I could make a... Well, for an entire... Uh, every room. Put them in a naughty night light. Yeah, uh, if you didn't grab them... Here, these begonia leaves are pretty much what you need. Uh, it, it, something, I already came across these scraps. So, yeah. The recipe I already talked about, but gra and grabbing these crabs is a good idea as well. In this, in the walls, we find ourselves some silver. This will be not of immediate use. But, yeah, if you wish to, you can grab some. I will not grab it too much. And... Why is there no question mark? Ow! What the heck? Come here! And after that, I'm gonna grab me some rubies. Rubies. There should be a question mark pointing over there as well. Because there is one of the patients. Uh, maybe the patient actually comes up. This one isn't as... Uh... Oh, hello. What are you doing? You're hungry. That's all you got. You're hungry. Okay. Let's drag you through the water with face first, nose in the water, mouth in the water. Pretty much your entire head submerged. I hope you don't drown. <laughs> but we can give you some food. It should not be too difficult. Okay, next. Let's put you over here, because I don't want you getting ill with whatever they have. You want good crap law. Well, you're in luck, lady. Because I think I still have some left. That did not fill up that bar uh, that much. One third? Yeah, you can see that we are on the third island with uh, patients. Each island requires more and more for the patients to actually recover. And she only says that she is hungry. Okay. Um, next up, let's, yeah, I'll talk about that later. Next up, we actually have to follow the marker. Let's find our other patient. Because each area that we have come through always had two patients. And I am noticing that it is getting late, so let's hurry up, shall we? And this is also giving us... Ooh, we have a new fruit in here. Oh, these green ones are the ones that I was fishing up earlier. Would you mind not blocking? I can't grab those things. Ah, oh, that's sad. But these things are hard fruit. It's again a new food source. And if you don't mind, I would like to... Oh! 
Plumberry trees! Were well, not plumberry trees, but tree ends and. And they can cause a different status ailment that is unique to Dragon Quest builders. They can cause hunger. So if you get hit by one of their attacks, your hunger meter actually drops. Hmm. And, you know, this kind of seemed like familiar territory. I was almost gonna say, am I going to find the cousin of Rolo in here, but she doesn't actually look like it. But, yeah, Hazel. Tree faces. What did I name them again? Oh well. Again, one that is so hungry. This, yeah, the hunger status ailment is unique to this uh, area, but again, I hope you're not drowning when I drag your entire head through the water because I cannot use any. Here, next to your body. Maybe I should make a wall in between here. Oh, you need a sardine on a stick? I will give you that in the morning. I think getting and being a little bit hungry for a little while doesn't hurt that much. Okay, you needed a sardine on a stick and a... What the frick is a baguette? Well, bread is one of the basic necessities in uh, food. Or at least one of the basic things that we have food for. But I don't think I can build a baguette at this moment. No, I cannot. And I don't have any sardines on a stick either. So, if you... let's see. Oh. Okay. Um, I had grabbed me one of those concerts. Let's hang that one up here, making the town look a little bit better. And of course, I have an item bar that's pretty full again. <sighs> Let's see. Oh yeah, I did not talk about that one. Hard fruit. Fills the hunger meter by 10%. It pretty much is the same thing as a plumberry. You can eat it immediately, like a fruit. But, um, it's better used in a recipe. Although, we don't have that recipe just yet. And you, you better... Oh no. That's even less than uh, Mildred had. That's a fourth. You are going to be a rather... Oh. Where are you? Where is it? And who is it? Eh, well, okay. You I can pretty much ignore at this moment. So we have recovered our, well, our patients, and they are going to need food sources or food meals that we cannot give them yet. So it's best that we take on a different quest. And the next quest is why I actually had you grab the begonia leaf. Hey, uh, Casey has a quest for us. And you know what? I think I also know which room I'm going to use to put the Naughty Nightlight in. Okay, uh, what is it? Uh, 
Dude. Do that. Grunty is, is more than twice L's age. Well, that's saying nothing because uh, there are many people uh, who are rich and powerful that have girlfriends or wives even that hardly came out of, well, have graduated from school. In our world, so... But no, I don't want to think it like that. But they do seem to have a history. That's something I will give you. Maybe she is her grandfather. You ever thought uh, a thought of asking that? Okay. No, they don't seem to get any better and that's really weird. And we have clean water. What else do you want? Oh, there's still dirt in the drinking water, hey? Eh? And even after I went to all the trouble of having a wooden pool around it to remove all the dirt and the poisonous peat touching the water. <sighs> it's still dirty. Well, you know, what about a pure fake filter fountain? Okay, we need to build a filter fountain and for that we needed the begonia leaf. I think it was on this one and also Yes, filter fountain and we'll do it. Pumice! Pumice! Well, luckily pumice is really readily available through near the portals close to any of the entrances here so let me get some okay that didn't take as long as i thought it would luckily because yeah promise was is actually really you have to look at the more white small rocks, not the grey ones as you see in the, the upper right corner next to the... Those are just stone and they fall apart and give you nothing. But the white ones, pumice pieces, they actually give you something. And you know what is also really nice about this uh, filter fountain? So if you only had... Let's let's see. I have now 11, uh, 11 uh, blocks of water. If I would put a place two, then this is an empty room and no longer a watering hole. If I remove one, it becomes a watering hole. I have sufficient water for or sufficient blocks. To, uh, well, for making the recipe. If I place this fountain, it actually makes a purification pool. Now, which requires 10 blocks of water, just like the watering pool. It, but different from the water watering pool is that it gives, it has a filter fountain. The rest is all the same. And what it does is residents will create water related items. It already did that with the watering pool. This one is actually just a few points more in the le uh, base level. And I think the water, uh, water item based items that they build is better because now they also can give pure water. 
and some other furniture. But as you can also see, I just got max level! But as you can also see, the filter fountain in them itself does not count as a, uh, oh, Casey, as a, well, actually it does count as a water block. So you can uh, put that instead of water or actually it is surrounded by water. Well, that's looking in hindsight, but uh, you didn't know, and you've been suffering for a long time, so. Ooh, you are actually ready to fight back against the... Uh... Hades Condor, hey? You know, if even Nosh does that, then he proves himself to be reliable at least. Thanks for telling me that, because, yes, ooh, palm lumber, always good if you need the wood. Um, you see that this uh, fountain works, it uh, does some, uh, oh, it uh, actually uh, sprouts water. If I were to place it here, it doesn't do that. It only works if you place it inside a water block. And that's why it's also counted as a water block. And what kind of uh, furniture did they have they already? They've made a regular fountain. Okay. And sufficient water, I see. And a water jug. Again, a regular fountain is the same. You place it inside and it starts, well, it counts as a water block and it also works only when you place it in water. But it is not a purification fountain, which actually looks really interesting. You can see the different layers of uh, materials that the water has to go through for being purified. You actually see the filter layers and that looks so awesome. There's a water jug. Am I capable of placing it somewhere? Not at this moment. Uh, one day it will uh, have its use. You know what? Maybe I can place it on top of that thing. Yes! Ah, uh, and I was already at max level. And we still haven't finished our base. You see, it's really easy. To make and get to max level uh, and with max level I also have completed a chapter challenge but that those things are for later for now I thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode as I did and I have way too many text balloons getting in the way Okay, I thank you all for watching. I hope you liked this episode. Next time, well, we will explore these new, this new island even further. And I think that's the island over there or not. No, it's a different island. Eh, it's for later. 
We will explore at least the new island a bit further and hopefully... Oh no, that's just the wall of this island. I hope uh, to see you again next time. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like behind if you liked this video. If Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. But what I would really appreciate is if you could leave me a comment with feedback on this video on how I could improve in the future my videos. I thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye.